What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm Jake Loris with uh, Heart Support. I'm with my buddy, lead vocalist of uh, Send the Hill, Joel. Joel, say hello to everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, and he played a phenomenal show tonight, and um, he's honored me with some of his time, so I just figured I want to ask him a few questions. Uh, I know that he's been torn. He tours uh, quite a bit around the States and uh, even did some New Zealand stuff with uh, Come Live. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been on the road full time for about three years, coming up on three years, and um, mostly in the States, and then we've been in Canada and New Zealand now. So. What do you think are, is one of the main issues with, um, with kids today? Like, what do you think they struggle with the most? I think hopelessness, but then mainly distraction. Like, I think there's so much in the way of distraction that this world has to offer that we're just like consumed with everything, you know, with the world and its selfish amb ambition and selfish gain and desires. Like, it's so easy to find our satisfaction and our hope in the things that this world has to offer. And so, a lot of times, the hopelessness issue is met by, you know, whatever this world has to offer at the moment, whether it's you know, alcohol, drugs, sex, rock and roll, like all that kind of stuff, whatever, you know, like I th to me, that's the big issue, is just distraction. God was definitely in the room. How do you, how can you explain that feeling on stage? Like, how could you put your worship into words for kids to, to be able to understand? For me and for us on the hill, I mean, it's, it's just an, the corporate outward expression of a heart of worship. You know what I mean? Um, my dad always said that you can't take anywhere where you haven't been to yourself. So if we're not willing to confront things within ourselves and bring them to God wholeheartedly, intimately, with real issues, real stuff, successes and failures, um, if we're not willing to bring that all to God and, and allow Him to touch all those issues and just be intimate with Him, then we can't expect anyone else to have that opportunity to. So it's just a corporate expression. All these people living lives and having hearts of worship for God but coming together and just kind of a beautiful moment and experience to just encounter the very real and living God. Christ alone is um, is how we reach God and, and that, you know, some people, especially the way Christians are portrayed is like, you know, they have to be perfect and they have to do certain things and there's rituals and it's all very religious uh, to see God's face and you're saying really that Jesus has already done this for us and that um, through Christ you can have that strong, real, intimate relationship with God. With churches today, what do you feel churches need to change to show that to, to, to people? Well, I think our churches... And I don't want to just bash churches because, yeah. you know, we there, are the, there we are the good church. church. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. We are the church. But I think our biggest problem as the church as a whole is that we're trying to take people's medicine away from them, the things that they've subscribed to their own lives to get by, to deal with the hopelessness, to deal with the distraction, all that stuff. Um, the church's first uh, knee-jerk reaction is let's take the medicine away from them without fixing the heart of the issue. You know what I mean? And so we're so consumed with the outward appearance and we're so consumed with, you know, the, the distractions that um, we're not leading people to Jesus, you know. So I think if the church is better about getting people to the heart of God and, and communicating the reality of Jesus and his life, his death, his resurrection, the work that he has already accomplished for us, and not as much emphasis on the medicine, the subscriptions, you know, prescriptions, yeah, prescriptions. Um, then I think those issues will get solved, and they're very real issues, but they're just symptoms of heart issues, you know, that, right. and I think Jesus is the only cure for those. If you had 30 seconds to give a message of hope to kids, what would it be? This world will let you down. It will turn its back on you. It will leave you wanting and desiring more every single time. You can search far and wide for hope and satisfaction and truth in life and fulfillment, but that only comes from Jesus. I can see.